Hello, hello. Kelly Snow. Good morning. It's still dark here in Seattle. But I'm up. And I'm making these little envelope flip-ups. Pockets, things. <laughs> I put one in my last book. And I put pictures out in group. And... Everybody was wondering how to do it, and I told them what to do, but I guess it's funner to watch. You know what I'm saying? And then some of the girls don't have sewing machines yet. So I'm going to do this one with no sewing. I already have a lot of sewing in this book anyway, so it's okay. One thing I do doesn't have sewing on it. I got to get over it, right? Okay, so I'm just using three small envelopes that will fit on my page size. So whatever, you know, wherever you want to do it. Okay, and then I got three images from Calico Collage that I love. <laughs> And they fit on the front of the envelope because I'm going to put, you know, images on the front for fun. I mean, you don't have to. If you're doing collage, you can do collage. You want to just do picture, do whatever on the front. So that's really fun. But I'm going to glue these down and make pockets, side pockets on the front of all these. They're fun. So I just want to get this done really quick so I can just glue it on. Almost done here when we're ready. And then I got a thing with envelopes. So <laughs> I like to make them and I like to just find them too and I really like small ones because I like to make um altered clips out of them the small ones you know big paper clips you know but I like to you know use envelopes but anyway anyway so I hate to use these small ones for this but it's so dang cute that I gotta do it anyway okay so essentially you're gonna be able to glue it down and you're just gonna be able to flip so you can have the pages any way you want to, but when I put mine in the book, it's going to be this way. So they flip. So it flip ups. You know what I'm saying? So now I know we put these in backwards. Okay. So lay your first envelope down and then, and then turn it, flip it over and then slip it inside. We all have seen these videos over and over again. So I didn't think I should do one, but well, I don't know why I'm having such trouble here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such trouble. Well, maybe this ain't the right size. Oh, there we go. It's okay. Okay, and then you take the next one, flip it over, right, and slide it in. Now, I'm going to glue. I just wanted to show you. For Petey's sakes. Okay, so we've all seen that video, yeah. And we're making, they were making, you know, envelope books, which is really cute. But I just wanted to glue it down, so I just glued it down, that's all. <laughs> so, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let me get my book here. It's getting so fat. I don't even know if I can fit this in here, but I have to. So, so I'm going to... So essentially, let's see, how is this going to work? I think it goes like this. Let me look. <laughs> Let me look down where I'm going to. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is. I'll glue it down here like this, only it's going to be this way, I think. And I'm going to glue the picture on the side like this, see? 
Now, depending on which side of the book you have it on, you want your pocket, your tags to slide out. So if I'm going to put this here, I'm going to move this down a little bit so that my tag will come out this side and glue it in that way. And then when you flip, oh, see the pockets on the top. So maybe I'm going to do it this way. There we go. And then when you flip it up, you got your pocket right here. See, and you flip it up again and you got your pocket right here. See, so it'll be just really cute. I did it in my last book. So I'm going to do it in this one too. It's super cute. I'll show you. I guess I could show you a finished product. It's already in my book. My book's way over there. What the heck was I doing there? Okay. But for some reason, this is bothering me. I don't know if I have these in right. I feel like they're upside down for some reason. Because if I do it this way, now let me just look here. I just want to see if I do it this way, how it's going to work out. No, it won't because it won't let me. Okay. Okay, well then. I don't know why I feel like this is wrong right now. Because the first one's freaking me out. I guess the first one you don't get. I guess you don't get the pocket because you're gluing on top of it. I guess. That's how that goes. But I was trying to remember if my first one was like that. That's not cool. Maybe we should rotate the first one. So that we're gluing on the front of the envelope and then you still get the pocket. But I don't understand what the heck I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't remember my first one being like that. Now I want to go look at it and see what the heck I was doing. They're weird. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just noticing right now. Anyways, you just put them in there and it's no big deal. But, but I was just trying to figure out how the heck to get this pocket to be regular. If I do it this way and I glue on top, then I'm, I don't know. You guys tell me, maybe you see me doing it and I'm just being a total dork because I'm tired, but, but I will, I could log in and see what the heck you guys are doing. How about that? So we can gab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Cause maybe, maybe I'm not seeing what I'm supposed to see here. Uh oh, let me turn my volume down. Sorry. Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. I know I'm trying to trying to do these and they're so cute. I guess it doesn't matter either way. You have pockets galore. It's not like we're missing any pockets. Are you getting ready to go? Hi. <laughs> Hi Laura. Hi Carrie. Hi Gigi. Hi Kitty. Hi Patricia. I know, I'm making these cute things. I really like them a lot, but I don't feel like getting up to go over to get my book to see how I did it. <laughs> so, regardless, it doesn't matter if I miss one pocket or not. But it's bugging me, and I don't want to miss one. So, I'm going to flip the first one so that the front cover is plain. And it's not a pocket, so when I flip it up, there's going to be a pocket on the top and a pocket on the bottom. I don't remember it being like that, but whatever. But whatever. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> Dang it, I hate it when I come on to show you something and then I forget how to do it. <laughs> well, it actually doesn't really matter. I'm just noticing like, what the heck, you know what I mean? How did I do that? That's why it's good to do flip throughs on your, on your junk journals, even if you don't sell, you know, because let's face it. I mean, the first time I heard somebody say, I think it was Rita. She's so cute. She's like, let's face it. Sometimes we inspire ourselves. And I thought, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I do that all the time. So it's good to do flip throughs, even just for yourself. So you can remember what the heck you were thinking and doing, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of funny. Okay. So 
I just put my glue on like that. So I got a pocket here now, right? So you got a pocket on the front. And then when you flip it, you get your little regular envelope pockets, right? Of course, I didn't glue my little flaps down yet, but I was just trying to hurry up and show you. But, but now I'm supposed to have an image on here. And then when you flip it, you have another pocket. What am I doing? Doing this all wrong. <laughs> telling you. Telling you I'm doing it wrong. I got to go get my other book so I can see what the heck I was doing. Serious business. So now y'all just got to wait. Because I got to see now what I did. Because this is just not working out. <laughs> uh, I got to go look. <clears throat> I gotta go look before my glue dries because I'll probably have to rip that off. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? We'll look here and see what the heck I did for fun. I hate that when you go and then, the, you know, people post stuff to you in group and stuff and you try to remember because you're in the middle of something and you can't stop to make it and then you forget, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have got to see what I did. Let's look. Oh, here it is. Okay. What the heck did I do? Okay, see how it's on the page and how cute it is and it's all glued in and the tags come out this side and the image is on the front and I glued it down so that we could have this cute little thing. Oh, and it flips this way. Oh, I just have it upside down. What a dork. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, no wonder I was freaking out. Okay, I have to rip this off. It's totally okay. <laughs> I just had it up and down. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. So when we flip it then, see, then the pocket's on this side. Oh, no wonder I had it upside down. And so then you flip it again and your little pocket's on that side. And you flip it again, your pocket's on this side. See how easy it is? God, I made it so complicated. <laughs> Oh, that's super funny. Okay. Ooh, I got wet glue now, but that's all right. <clears throat> all right, let me try this again. Flip this over and slip it in. I know that's for sure. I just had it upside down and then flip it over and slip it in. Flip and slip. That's what Kristen calls it. She's the one that made the video in group. I know they're on YouTube too, but. Okay, and then. Oh, I see. So it starts like that. Oh, all right. Now we got it. And I had it glued on the wrong side, see? But these envelopes are so small that it covers up the whole front anyways. So I'm not going to have much room put pretty pictures anyways okay let me see here oh I threw it I flung it over here I think this one's a little bit too big I'm gonna have to get a smaller one maybe we'll see okay so now that I figured it out I was upside down <laughs> right now we can glue And I'm just going to glue the little flap is all. Okay. So we'll start over. Put your envelope down. See, flip it over so it's backwards. And glue your little flap. You don't have to have a lot of glue, really. A little bit. 
I actually think the other one, I will see if I screwed up again. Because for some reason, I feel like I was putting glue right on top of the glue strip. You know what I mean? But it's okay. Either way, it'll work. Because you can use them as little pages or anything anywhere, actually. They're super cute. Oy vey. I'm having troubles. This one's wrinkled. There. There. Now that I did that, I do want to ink the tops of these just a little bit before I get the glue on. The image is going to cover the rest of it, but not the top where the tag comes out. So let me just do that real quick. Right. Now we can glue it on. And then it flips down. God, what a dork. See, and it flips down. So then you got your pocket. It flips down again. For Pete's sakes. Just waiting for the glue. Just so you know. <laughs> just waiting for the dang glue. There. Now, for Pete's sakes. I don't know why I'm up so early, I guess. Sometimes it's just that way. So once I have to get up with the bathroom, and then I got to get a drink, and then, you know, the dog wakes up, you know, <laughs> and all that. Okay, now, so when I glue this down, that'll be, this is my front image. And then you glue it down. There's your pocket. And now we got the next one. And we'll glue that right there. Poor beginners come to see this because I told them how easy it was. And then I have all kinds of troubles. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It's so like me. <laughs> Hello, Sweden. How are you? I'm making envelope little flips, little flip ups. I had a rough beginning, but it's all working out okay. <laughs> right? I'm not doing any sewing. Normally, I would sew around these just to have the stitching, but, but I'm not going to this time. So that... You can see how cute it is without sewing still. This one's kind of big, but I'm going to use it anyway. But it's going to cover the whole envelope. I don't even know if there'll be room for a tag. I should have maybe punched it right there. If I get in there real quick before the glue dries, I probably could do it. Let's see if I can get get it before it. I might as well. Okay. There, at least now I got a little divot right there where they can. Ah, I should have inked it too. Dang it. It's okay. I'll get it. Don't you hate it when you do that? And then you got to ink around the dang something. <laughs> ink around the dang something. Let's see. I always say, ink before you glue. What do you do before you glue? Ink. And then I go and forget. But it's okay. There. 
Ooh, that's pretty. Can I flip it, flip it, flip it. Let's see? Ooh, this is cute. Right? And then I put, I have the sheet music stamp in my shop. It's multi-script stamp of music. So I love that because it has a bunch of different kinds of music on it and different shapes and it has text and everything so you don't get bored of the same and every project doesn't look the same, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. So I leave mine flat. The ones you get from my shop, that's how they work best. I'm only trying to get the impression of sheet music. I'm not trying to put it everywhere and everything. So I just blot, blot. And you get a couple nice little marks. And that's all I want. Just a little impression of sheet music. And then I'll show you here. I don't cut the envelope because it's already got a pocket, you know, the natural pocket of the envelope. So the pocket is these things because I only put the glue right here, right? So that would be the outside of your envelope where you would put your address and your stamp and stuff, which we could. It would look cool, you know, just a regular vintage envelope. <clears throat> but I glued this on the front instead. So now I'm going to pick my, I'll show you here when we get it closer to being done here. Now I want to get my ribbon out because I need ribbon. And since this is so turquoise, I'm using turquoise. <clears throat> Let me just guesstimate here how much I'll need. And then, if I have any scissors sitting here. <laughs> Seriously, really? Uh, hmm. I don't see any scissors anywhere, if you can believe that. Huh. Well, this is going to look all jacked up then with no scissors. I mean, I have scissors, but they're, you know, weird shaped. Huh. Well, now I got to go hunt for my scissors. I hate that. I must have been using them out to do my mail or something, you know. And then I always do the ends with a lot of ink because I don't know. It's just how I do it. And I run it through a couple times at least. To get some really good color on it. It looks best with color on it, you know. I like it. I like it grungy. It's probably too much, but. And then. Crinkle it up. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'll lay it on my book like that. And then when I tie, I want to make sure, at least this is how I do it, I want the ribbon to hang out the bottom of my book, so I tie it down at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you really quick when I glue it in and how it flips and then what kind of pockets you got. So I always tie my bow and I leave my strings on the bottom. This book is so big, I don't know how I'm going to fit all this in here. I really don't. Okay. I'm going to have to stop putting stuff in here, I guess, eventually here. Okay, so.
and then you got to fill this, you know, so it's already really fat. You really don't need, I mean, it's already got six pockets in it. You know what I mean? With the regular pocket, it's already in there with the envelope and then the pocket I made with the image on the front. So cutting it open on the side and making it another one. Oh my God. That'd be nine pockets. It's just too many. It's just fine the way it is. <sighs> oh my God. It's going to be so fat anyways, but okay. See, I'm not going to be able to shut this. In fact, I have to shut it to even get this to you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So now, see, flip, and your envelopes pockets right here, and the one on the side right here. So you got two. So I put pretty tags in right here, so the fluff sticks out the side. And then when you pull it down, you got your pocket right here. And then a pocket right here for your tags. Flip it down. You got another pocket and then one right here. And then this one I just glued all the way down. But you can make this one so it flips like I did the other one. But I didn't. I just glued it down. Because I don't want that to flip this one on this one. So these are actually pretty easy to make. Although I made it look complicated. <laughs> But it's really not, I swear. So we'll just glue it in like this. And this is really cute. Now I can work on what I'm going to put in the little pockets and stuff. See? And of course, Calico Collage, it has tags that come with it already. So in the kit I got, I think it was One Fine Day. Is what the kit's called with the birds on it. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it has little tags to match and papers and stuff. So let me look here. And then I knew I was doing these birds. So I went and ordered some birdies for the shop. I'm so excited to have these. These are so cute. And it comes with a um, couple of different kinds. And look how big it is. It's like three by threes or something. So I got these for covers for our books and I'm just super excited about them. They're all different kinds of embroidery. And um, so they're that like clear, you know, you can see the shine on the back. I don't know if they're iron-ons or what they are, but I don't care. I'm going to ink it up and stick it on because this is so cute. I can't stand it. Anyways, um, the ones I have in my shop right now, there's three different kinds. This is the one that uh, I got and I only had a couple, but I got these ones on order. And so when I get them, I'll throw them in. But right now, the ones I have, um, they're so cute. You get three in a pack. And then when I get those, I'll add that one in there. So we'll get four packs. But oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> All about the birds right now. Because they're so cute. Okay. So now I will look for little tags to put inside those little pockets right there. I have got to stop putting stuff in that journal, but I guess I got to do the cover and be done with it because it's just too fat and I don't even have some of the pockets filled up yet. And that one's going in my shop too. So I just keep a little basket of stuff that's already printed out. So when I need it, I can just come here and get all the stuff I need to get and be done with it. Yeah. So I've got library cards, journaling cards, tsunami rose. Uh, let's look what else. I kind of wanted some paper in there. Hi, Erica. Hi, Emma. What you doing, Emma? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I got uh, library cards. Those are cute, but I kind of want paper. Oh, here's some. No, that's on cards. What the heck? Seems like in this, we're always looking for crap, aren't we? Isn't that what we always do? Here it is. 
Ooh, look at the paper. Isn't that pretty? This is Rose Azure. Tsunami Rose. Ooh, ooh. Right? I love it. But I'm looking for the little tags. See, here's the big tags. Isn't that gorge? But I shrink them down so that they fit in my little... But I just made one of these, so maybe I... But here's some cute tags, too. So we could use one of these, even. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one. It's really cute. I'm going to use one of these. Uh, but, you know, sometimes... Oh, here's some cute paper that goes inside of it. So I just need... You know, you got to have one for the pocket and then one for the dang envelope. Oh, here's some cute bird tags. These are Digital Clash Club. And it's got sheet music on it. And I can just ink that up. That'll be easy. That'll be an easy one. So I'm just making these envelopes, Emma. And looking for little stuffies to go inside. Look how cute these little things are, the little birdies. This is, um, I think it's one fine day, Calico Collage. How cute are they? And here's the tags that go with it. All three, there's actually four. And this one, these ones are so tiny. I'm not sure if they'll, we'll see if we can use those. If they, they might be a little bit too small. But we'll see for fun. Mm, that's probably good enough. I have this spider crawling around on my desk right now. He's just crawling around back and forth. He's walking. Now he's on my scissors. You know, a little one or I'd be screaming. Believe me. <laughs> but you know, he's kind of cute. But he keeps walking around. Getting into my stuff. What are you doing? You know, the kind with the long two front legs. Oh, if he was big, I'd be just dying right now. Get out of here. I'm trying to do something. I don't like it on me. <laughs> now he's on my scissors walking around. Oh, and I need my scissors right now. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So I got three envelopes. He's still sitting right on my scissors because that's what I need. You little bugger. Get out of here. Go on. Get off. He won't leave either. Ooh. Oh, well. And they're not the right scissors anyways. You know, I can't believe I come sit down here and don't have any scissors for Pete's sakes. Only I would do such a thing. Okay, so I need three pieces of paper or something to go inside the card. So there's two. God, that little bugger. I wish he'd get out of here so I can be normal. Nope. Can't do it. It's got to go sit right on the scissors I want. Okay, well, guess what? Look at, see? Look at him. You see him right here? Ooh, little tiny one. Still, though. Still, I don't want to. You know, here, dude, get out. God. <laughs> I got to get rid of that now. I got the shivers. <laughs> God. I know, right, Emma? It's not like I carry. It was just tiny, but geez, I'm trying to do something. Get out of here, you know? Yeah, can you imagine I don't have any scissors? Like, really? I sit down here. <laughs> and now I don't have scissors. How could that, How can I live like this? I really can't. Okay, I got one tag at least. And I got another little tag right there. I want this size. I know these ones are too small, but... I don't think I have any more of the size printed out. I'll have to print some or use something different. Maybe I can use a couple of these. These ones are cute too. And then when you put the fluff on the top, it sticks out the side, you know. So it's all cute and everything. Oh, cute. Everything's falling right now. <laughs> I 
I didn't smash him. I knocked him off into the garbage can. He'll probably walk away, I'm sure. Okay. Well, I don't want to presume that. Just because something walks into my space, I have to kill it. No, that's kind of rude. So I figured, you know, I figured I would just knock it into the garbage can and see if, see if he can <laughs> figure his way out before I take it out. Okay. Oh, now it's backwards. I really have to stop doing this now. I got to be done with this book. Seriously. So now this is cutesy. So when I put my tag in the side. Oh, now my little fluff. My little fluff easel. What color do I want? I want something different because I got pink. I mean turquoise, so I want pink now. But I got to use these weird scissors because I don't know where mine are right now. <laughs> oh my god there There. Everybody's sleeping still. My little doggie's all snuggled up next to Shawnee. So cute. <laughs> I like to do that. I don't know why. It just feels good when I'm awake and they're sleeping in bed and all cozy and warm. I just think it's cute. <laughs> Ah, where'd my, here it is. Now the next thing is my punch. Just happens to be right here. How convenient. It's the first thing I didn't have to look for. How nice. <laughs> first time for everything. Well, it's not that I like them, but I just don't want to go around killing things just because they walk across my path. I just, I just don't want to, you know, oh, I don't know. I just don't. Okay. So now when I put this in here, actually the Washington, you know, there's a lot of spiders here. The first time I got here, I freaked out because they're in the trees. And they jump. Oh, we were sitting on the deck. We were sitting on the deck one time. Innocently. Sitting out there in our new apartment. Grilling. Eating food. Everything's cool. So, there's trees right here. And my husband's sitting in the chair right here, right? And we're on the deck. And the spider jumped from the tree to the, to the roof. To the deck. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. And it was huge. And I freaked out my husband. Jumped out of the chair. <laughs> no, it was the sickest thing. I'm not even kidding. Oh my God. So now I know they're in the trees. They're everywhere here, you know. And um, this time of year, especially right before it gets cold, they come out and there's just webs everywhere. Like I open up my sliding glass door and it's just webs and spiders. It's like, oh my God. So maybe I just have gotten a tolerance now. <laughs> maybe. But but it's just sick. I can't hardly stand it. What did I do? Glue my envelope shut? Are you joking? I did. Can you guys believe I did that when I flipped and slipped? <laughs> Did I do it to all of them? Oh my God. Are you joking me right now? I really did. I think I glued all my envelopes shut. I cannot believe. See, I told you guys. I think you're supposed to put the glue on the other side. <laughs> Remember I said, hey, I think I'm putting the glue on the wrong side. <laughs> I was. So now I can't even stick my things in there for Pete's sakes. I think I did it to all of them too. What a total dweeb. Oh, well, screwed that up. Now I got to rip them open so I can get my stuff in. 
Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Only Kelly who does videos like this. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, but you know, the thing of it is, is that this is the kind of crap you go through when you do journals. It really is. At least it is for me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm constantly doing crap like this all the time. So I'm so used to it now that it doesn't even phase me anymore. It's just a typical thing, you know, that I would do. One time I did the, I was doing a cover and I completely did the cover upside down and backwards. I was about died. So I had to rip everything off. And then when you rip stuff off, it leaves marks, you know. So then I had to cover up the marks on the back and flip it around and do it. Oh, my God. It was just. This one's going to be a bugger, though, right here. I really glued this sucker good right here, man. I don't know if I'm going to get this one very good. Oh, crap, you guys. Oh, well, that's what I get. I think if I slice it like a, a knife and slice it, maybe it'll... Nope, still ripping. Still ripping. <laughs> Dang it, you guys. Ooh, it's coming now. Ooh, I can, I'm getting it. Okay, good. There, for Petey's sakes. Can you imagine? This was supposed to be a lot easier than that, but you know. It's got to be an epic adventure when you watch my videos. There. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, now I got to try this one. Can you imagine? This one I think is going to be easier because... I didn't glue that good, apparently. There. Now they're not glued in, see? Oh, my God. <laughs> what a dilemma I created for myself. Because now they're not glued in. I just undid the glue. So, I think we should dub this the worst video ever. <laughs> what not to do, right, when you do a video. <laughs> upside down backwards glue the wrong side seems like i just did one the other day too that i did that i'm like why am i doing these videos and i keep doing everything wrong it was so funny but you get the idea <laughs> you get the idea <laughs> hey hey i got the idea it doesn't mean i can do it right <laughs> ah, that's funny it wasn't even my idea all i did was flip it over and try to make a flip out of it instead of a book, but apparently I'm having a hard time. <laughs> apparently I'm having a hard time. Oh my god, can you imagine? Okay, now but you know, I make these books over and over again. <laughs> All the mistakes that I do, I still make them all the time. I think the newbies, that's what they get all upset about is I hear them all the time, you know. I just don't want to mess it up. I just don't want to mess it up. But, you know, you're going to mess up. I mean, just face it. Like, you're going to screw it up. Seriously. And it's all okay. You know, like, it's not like we're, you know, it's no big deal. Just fix it. But, you know, when you're trying to do something, I mean, it is frustrating. But... <laughs> I know, right, Arlene? I've done that so many times. You just adapt and overcome, right? We are Marines. <laughs> We're Marines in the craft world. Adapt and overcome, ladies. <laughs> uh, it's funny. No, I was bound and determined to have the pockets correct. <laughs> and that is what I did. Dang it. Let's see, this color is going to be, color, should we do these? I guess we can do. No, you really go through a lot of dilemmas when you, especially when you're new. And I was going to say, especially when you're new, but seriously, 
obviously, even when you're not new, you go through all kinds of dilemmas because sometimes you come in here and you want just a mindless activity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes. Uh, and that's what I was thinking I was going to come in here and do is mindless activity. Because <laughs> I, I just woke up and everything. But... Oh, that went right into my water. But it didn't end up to be so mindless, I guess. Hi, babe. Hi, buddy. What you doing? My little boy got up. What you doing, honey? He's so cute. Okay, so we'll put chalk white. Pug Snug Seam Binding you get from Zipperstop.com, eBay, Amazon, whatever. I like to go right to Zipperstop, though, because they have the most colors. What you doing, little boy? It's too early for you to be awake, buddy. It's too early for you, buddy. It's still dark. You better go back to bed with your daddy. You better go back to bed with your daddy. My dog knows words. And he's only like three and he knows all kinds of words. He could almost be human. <laughs> almost, because he knows lots of words. I can't imagine by the time he gets, you know, five or six, how smart he's going to be. Seriously, I know that's really dumb, but he knows so many words. It's amazing. What are you doing, silly? He's rolling around on the floor. I don't know why he's doing that right now. What are you doing? You're supposed to be sleeping in bed. <laughs> Sean must have got up to the bathroom because otherwise the dog would not leave his side for a second. This is why my hands are stained. Um... Vintage photo. <laughs> because I can coffee stain this. I get it and crinkle it up and dry it and all that crap. But what happens to me is then I have all this ribbon off the spool. You know. So I'm just like, forget it. I'm just going to crinkle and ink, ink and ink and crinkle. Because I don't feel like having all that ribbon off the spool hanging around. Jeez, I got enough junk everywhere. Right? See, so once you get this done <laughs> and all the drama is done, you can simply have this cute little thing. And it's really cute and fun. If you can do it. Now, hopefully, these don't fall out because they're not glued. <laughs> and then we. Close the ribbon. And it's adorable, I'm just saying. Even though I messed up the whole entire thing, it ended up to be... <laughs> it ended up to be okay. See? Cute. Right? And now the ribbons hang out the bottom, and they hang out the side, and then you can put crap right there, whatever you want. I know, right? Isn't that pretty? I like it, even though my video was a disaster. That's okay. <laughs> uh, but this one's going to be fun. Did you see this book yet, Emma? Oh, my God. Look at all the empty pages and how fat it is. I need to just stop, and I can't because, I mean, I guess you can have empty pages. <laughs> then I did another one. Did you see this one, Emma? It's really fun. Did you try one of these yet? I was doing these in group. They're, um... Time cards, you know, it's just a trifle. It's no big deal, but, and it opens up. So you got three, three little spots. So I did one of those too for fun. And I'm into this time, uh, gluing it down and tying with the little bows like this now. I'm all into it. Look at how cute. And then the strings hang off the side. I got to check this out because, um, I got empty pages, but it's so fat because my projects are so big that I don't know. Boy, oh boy, I got a lot of work to do still. 
And I keep thinking I got to be done because look at how big it is. My God, it won't even shut already. Look. But, you know, my books are always like that, I guess. But it is a little ridiculous. But anyway. <clears throat> Anyways. Okay. So. That was a little disaster, but that's okay. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> right. So, um, I guess we'll see y'all later. Until I come up with another disaster to show you. <laughs> I might be back later. We'll see. Okay, bye.